While blue is one of the most popular colors, it is one of the least appetizing. Blue food is rare in nature. Food researchers say that when humans search for food, they learn to avoid toxic or spoiled subjects, which were often blue, black, or purple. When food dyed blue is served to steady subjects, they lose appetite. Environment problems caused by hard rock mining involve water pollution by metals themselves, chemicals used in processing, acid drainage, and sediment. Metals and metal-like elements in the ore are toxic and prone to cause trouble by ending up in nearby streams and water tables as a result of mining operations. You may have heard of the new fad known as ecotourism. This means tourism which is environmentally friendly and conscious about conserving the environment. The key is to minimize the physical, social and behavioral impacts of overseas travel. Tour groups will often work with local and indigenous communities to design respectful and memorable programs for visitors.
Life expectancy has increased dramatically in the last century. Most people these days will live for over 70 years. This is more than double the lifespan of the average human in the 17th century. We can attribute our longevity to advances in medicine and lifestyle. While everyone agrees that living longer is wonderful, overpopulation is becoming a serious environmental concern. Many people believe that employers discriminate against older people because youths have more energy and creativity. This is not true. The main reason for hiring younger workers is payroll. In most countries, your salary is dependent on how many years of work experience you have. It is far more cost efficient to hire postgraduates fresh out of university than senior staff with over 20 years of industry knowledge. Roman writers and orators began to expand their imaginative and intellectual horizons and refine the Latin language through the study of Greek literature. Early Roman literature had two kinds, the recording and examination of public life and behavior through life stories of famous men and the particularly Roman art of satirical comedy and drama.
The researchers think that long-distance flyers such as the American Golden Plover and the white rumped Sandpiper picked up the spores while lining their nests. Then when the birds arrive in new places, they molt, leaving behind the feathers and their precious cargo to start growing again at the other end of the world. The beginning of the 21st century will be remembered not for military conflicts or political events but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. The explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before. At the beginning of each fiscal year, funds are allocated to each state account in accordance with the university's financial plan. Funds are allocated to each account by object of expenditure. Account managers are responsible for ensuring that adequate funds are available in the appropriate object before initiating transactions to use the funds.
The one-year program of the Master in Global Management is designed only for those who have the graduate degree in the thesis, increasing temporary skill of new managers in an international capacity, something that recruiters are looking for more and more. The caterpillars that feed on trees are trying to match the hatching of their eggs to the timing of bud burst. The caterpillars want to feed on the juiciest and least chemically protected leaves. And it's not just the caterpillars, of course, that are important. But the knock-on effect is on nesting birds, which are also trying to hatch their chicks at the same time that there's the maximum number of caterpillars.
Britain then was slower to create and develop a police force than the rest of Europe. France had won long before. Indeed, the word police is taken from the French. This fact was not unimportant as the very idea of a police force was seen as foreign, that is French, and particularly undesirable, and was generally regarded as a form of oppression. A university is not a business. More precisely, a not-for-profit college or university is significantly different than a for-profit business. A university has no owners, it is a public trust. Without owners, it has no one to pay dividends to, and no one for whom it must maximize its profits. A business has a single overriding goal, the maximization of return for the owners. A university has a multiplicity of goals, to foster learning, to create knowledge and to serve its community.